In this video, I'll cover the process of using the library browser to find different objects to use in my plan. In order to follow along with this video, you'll need to ensure a couple of things. First, make sure your library browser is turned on. The default location for the library browser window is docked on the right-hand side of the Chief Architect window. If you do not see a library browser tab in the stack of windows on the right, you can go to the view menu and click on library browser. You can also click on the library browser button on the right-hand toolbar towards the top. Secondly, we'll be using the filter search bar throughout this video. If you don't have it turned on, you can go to the cogwheel icon in the lower left corner of the library browser window and choose the filters option. And lastly, we're going to be searching for items in the library and we'll want to include results from our online 3D library. To ensure we're including online results in our search, make sure the Include Web Results option is turned on. Ensure there is a check mark on that icon so web results will be included in our searches. We'll start by adding a dining room table. To do this, I'm going to go to my filter bar and type in Dining Table, and press Enter on my keyboard. Once I do that, I'll see a list of all of the items that match the search term Dining Table in the Filter Results panel. If I click on an item in the results panel, I can see a 3D preview of that item in the preview panel. In this case, I'll select the shaker pedestal table and then click in my plan to place it. Note, I don't need to click and drag when placing items from the library. I click once in the library browser, then I move my mouse into the plan without holding my mouse button down, and then click a second time to place it in my plan. Now that I've got a table, I want to place some chairs around the table. In our library browser, you can stack multiple filters together to refine your search. In this case, I'm going to filter by 3D symbol type first, and then filter by specific keywords. To do this, I'm going to type chair into the filter box. And you'll notice below the filter box, I have a list of different filters I can choose. I can filter by type text, folder with the type text, or by symbol type. I'll choose the option for symbol type chair slash stool. This will filter out everything that isn't a chair or stool symbol type. Now that I've done that, notice how it has returned zero results. That is because we didn't clear out the last filter. As I mentioned before, you can stack filters. You'll notice right under my filter box is a list of items being used in the filter. In this instance, Chief is searching for chair or stool symbols that are dining tables. And understandably, Chief hasn't found anything. In this instance, we want to get rid of the dining table text filter. To do this, I'll simply mouse over the filter and click on the red X that shows up. Once I've done that, I should now see a list of all the chair symbols in my plan. But just like we were filtering for chairs called dining tables, I can add a second filter to my search. In the search box, I'll simply type in dining and hit enter on my keyboard. Notice how Chief has added dining to the filter list along with chairs and stools. This will now show me all dining chairs. Looking at the filter results, you'll notice some of the results have a blue globe in the corner. These are items from libraries I don't have installed on my computer. I really like the look of this chapel dining chair one. Since I don't have it installed on my computer, I can right click on it and choose download catalog. You do need to be logged into your Chief Architect account in order to download the catalog. If you're not logged in, Chief Architect will prompt you to enter your email address and password for your account. Once logged in, Chief will begin downloading the catalog. Be aware, Chief will download all of the items in that particular catalog, not just the one item you have selected. Once that catalog, Craftsman number 2 in this case, has been downloaded, I can select the Chapel Dining Chair 1 and add it to my plan. I'll go ahead and place one and then make a copy of it and reflect that copy to the other side of my table. Now that I've got my chairs and table in the plan, I'd like to adjust the material. The default color for these chairs and table don't work well in the plan. I like the wood grain, so I'd like to keep that, but I want to stain the wood grain a different color. I'd also like to use a real stain color that's available from a manufacturer. In this case, I'll go ahead and use one from Wellborn. So again, I'm going to go back to my library browser, and I'll start by clearing out all of my existing filters. 
Once I've done that, I'll type in Wellborn, but before I hit enter on my keyboard, I'll choose the filter option for Manufacturer Wellborn. Once I do that, my filters list is going to show me just the Wellborn folder with every option available in the Wellborn catalog. Since Wellborn has more than just materials, I'm going to add a second filter by object type. To do this, in the filter bar, I'll type in type and then scroll through the filter list until I see type materials. I'll click on type materials and now I'm just seeing the materials that are in the Wellborn catalog. For this plan, I'll go ahead and choose the ash charcoal material. Then I'll make sure the blend with texture option is turned on to maintain the wood grain on my table and chairs. I'll also change the scope to object mode, then click on each chair and the table to blend the ash charcoal material with the wood grain. As you can see, there is a lot of power in the library browser search. You can use it to search just by text, or you can start to refine your search with different filters to find exactly what you need very quickly.